Hi, I'm Ross Patterson, one of the Field Partner team. I'm going to talk to you today about what you need to do to set out to do cross-cultural work. If you using old-fashioned language to the mission field, um, you may say, well, the Lord's spoken to me, so I'm off. But actually, in our fairly wide experience, I've been doing it for about 48 years, my wife for a little bit shorter but not much, and our colleague Brad for a long time, we probably need to do more than that. So I'm going to divide this section, this talk, into two sections. The first one is the what you might call the directly spiritual. The other side is practical. Now, Field Partner is here to help you su to succeed. That's our passion. That's what we really want to happen. We want you to succeed. And I want to say something right at the beginning, that I went to the mission field somewhere around 48 years ago, and I'm so glad that I did. I'm not ashamed of being a missionary, a cross-cultural worker. My wife isn't, Brad isn't. And our heart and our desire is that you might succeed in your calling. So we're here for you. Uh, you'll see a... Uh, a website address up there, that's our field partner site on Kajabi. And we'd like you to go there and what we'd really like you to do is leave your email so we can keep in touch with you. You can uh, ask questions to us, even talk one-to-one -one if that's going to be helpful. Our heart's desire is that you, you should succeed. We're here for you. Okay, seven quick points. Number one, to succeed. How is your walk with the Lord? How are you doing with the Lord? Uh, I often think of a dear friend of mine who many years ago was involved with me in work into China and uh, he was doing quite well and then he said to me one day, I, I, I want to go home. And I said, no, no, no. Dig into the Lord. Spend time with the Lord. Get a hold of the Lord. See what the Lord is saying to you. And essentially a few days later he said, no, I want to go home. So the first thing is, and that's before you go, it's not after you go, before you go, how's your relationship with the Lord Jesus? Do you know him personally? But more than that, are you walking with him day by day? Uh, our habit is when we get up in the morning, and I'm speaking to you from the Far East, uh, it doesn't look like it because I've got a sweater on, but uh, it's a brief, really cold time. Actually, the locals here, they keep saying to me, oh, it's so cold, they've got coats on. I say, it's cold, it's not so cold, because I'm a Brit and uh, have some idea what really cold is, actually from Scotland. So number one, you walk with the Lord. How are you doing with the Lord? Number two, do you have a clear sense of call or vision? Do you know that the Lord has spoken to you? Now, Brad is going to deal with this in another uh, talk in that group, in this group, so I'm not going to go into that at length. But are you sure that the Lord has called you? Can you stand on that call? Number three, do you belong to a missions-based church, a church that actually believes in mission? Um, don't tell anyone that I say this, but a lot of churches actually don't believe in cross-cultural work. They don't believe in... Uh, sending people away from their local area. They may be doing an absolute fantastic job locally and there's so much we can learn from them, but they don't teach us and inspire us with a vision to reach people of other cultures, other nations. Do you go to a mission-based prayer meeting? Now, I'm not saying for a minute, leave your church, but what I am saying is find that prayer meeting, find that mission group, that you can pray with, that you can share with. Number four, and as I say, these are just very brief talks. We'd uh, a great deal more we'd love to say, but uh, they're just brief snatches. Have you ever read or studied books about missionaries or the history of missions? See, you may say, God has called me. I'm going to change Ethiopia or, I don't know, any country you... Um, you care to mention, I'm going there, I'm going to change them. Have you read books about Hudson Taylor and Carey and Livingston and uh, other men and women of God who've, whose uh, adventures and struggles and the rest of it are there for us to learn about? Have you, have you read those books? Please do. Uh, one of my classics uh, was David Brainard, who 
was, if you like, a cross-cultural missionary to the indigenous people of the United States many years ago. Uh, Carey, again, as I say, Hudson Taylor. These men and women of God, we can learn so much from them. Number five, do you have a friendship circle that's conducive to mission? Uh, I think of a group uh, that uh, with my parents who used to meet every year um, just socially at Christmas time and, and it was kind of, uh, you're going abroad, what are you going to do? Well, that's all right. Many people will, will look at you that way. Many people, uh, 48 years afterwards, if you ask uh, some people quite close to me, what, is, what does he do? They wouldn't have any idea, I don't think. But I'm asking, do you have a group of friends a group of friends who have that same passion as you, who will be iron sharpening iron. If you don't, if you're a student in your student world, in, uh, if you're a church member in your church world, find others who have that same calling. Next, have you ever talked to a missionary on the field? Have you ever contacted with a missionary on the field? I know there are some close countries where that might be difficult, but have you ever done that? It's a good thing to do. Uh, get a hold of a missionary magazine. They may be too busy to talk to you, but finally, number seven, then go on a short-term mission team. Go on a short-term cross-cultural trip. That'll take you. I, as a Cambridge student, God had called me to, uh, to serve as a cross-cultural worker. This is in the 1960s. And I went with Operation Mobilization to... Uh, Eastern Europe and I finished in Russia actually at a time when Russia was really pretty tight. That mission trip did as much to confirm my calling as the actual call itself did, um, which I'll talk about another time. Is, is that something that you've ever considered doing? Because it will change your life one way or the other. So those seven short things, your walk with the Lord, your sense of call, mission-based church or at least a missionary prayer meeting, read and studying books on mission, uh, friendship circle, that is mission uh, cross-cultural orientated, talk to cross-cultural workers on the field and go on a short-term mission trip. Okay, though that's section one, seven simple things that we need to do as uh, to prepare to go on the field. Now, I'm not saying you should be doing all of those things, but I am saying if none of them are there, or all you've got is a walk with the Lord, but no cross-cultural orientation at all, this would be a good time to start. So, again, uh, you'll get our um, uh, Kajabi, our field partner address site there. Uh, you'll see it after I've finished. Uh, come online, leave us your email, talk to us, come to us. We are here, Christine Brown and myself, that you might succeed. We don't want you to fail. We want you at our ancient age to be able to say, I'm so glad I went. I'm so glad I succeeded. Thank you.